Welcome to the Normal Christian Life Online, a weekly broadcast of Global Response Network meant to awaken, inspire, and motivate you in your walk with God. All right, you guys, bring it in. You sit down. Listen, first half, horrible. You guys stunk. This is the Super Bowl. This is not Pop Warner football. You're getting paid millions of dollars to do exactly what I say. In the second half, we can win this thing if you'll listen to me. I need you to get your head in the game. Listen, they're not going to give us this game. They're going to do everything they can to win. They don't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They don't want that Gatorade being dumped on my head at the end of the game. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's important that we take a look at what's been going on and make some crucial, vital adjustments. Now listen to me. Our defense is thinking that they know what's going on. These four right here, Jim, George, Allen, and Steve, you guys need to get your head in the game. They've got that receiver, Billy Bob, and he's coming through, and he's, these guys right here, they're all taking you out. He's cutting through you every single time. I don't understand that. Why can't you see what's going on? I'll tell you what we're going to do second half. We've got two more guys I'm putting right up here, and that's George and Billy. And I'm telling you this right now, when he comes through here next time, second half, he's going to keep doing it because he's been doing it all first half because you don't have your head in the game. Second half, when he comes through there, we're going to get all over him like a pack of dogs on a three-legged cat. You understand what I'm talking about? Now listen to me. If you'll just listen and get your head in the game, we'll take home the victory. We will have the victory, and I get the Gatorade on my head. You understand what I'm talking about? You know, the truth is, all of us from time to time need to make adjustments in our life. Just this past week, I was reading out of Genesis chapter 42, verses 1 and 2. It says, When Jacob saw that there was grain in Egypt, Jacob said to his sons, Why do you look at one another? And he said, Indeed, I have heard that there is grain in Egypt. Go down to that place and buy for us there that we may live and not die. You know, here Jacob is, he's in, he's in one place, there's a famine in the land, Joseph, his son, who was sold into slavery, is in Egypt, he's Pharaoh's right-hand man, and he's got control of all the food. I love what Jacob says to his sons, it's pretty common sense, pretty bare bones. He says, what are you doing standing around looking at each other? There's food there, there's no food here, get up and go do something about it. I love that. It's really pretty common sense, isn't it? Many of us, we try to over-spiritualize things sometimes, but really God gave us a brain in our head. He gave us wisdom, He gives us discernment, and sometimes we need to just take a look at the scoreboard of our lives and make an adjustment. There's really not a whole lot to sit around and necessarily fast and pray about. Yes, there's times when, that, when that's necessary. I don't, never, would never belittle that in any way, shape, or form. I encourage us all the time, pray and go after God with all of our heart. And sometimes there are times when we just need to use common sense that God has given to us to make the adjustments in our lives. Some of you today, you need to make an adjustment. Your life's not going the way that it's supposed to. You're, you know it. You know you need to make an adjustment, but maybe you're too afraid of how much it will cost you, the work it will, that will, will be involved in all that, or whatever it may be. I want to encourage you today, just like I know you'd encourage me, to make whatever adjustments are necessary to do the things that God's called me to do, to live the life God called me to live. Some of you, maybe at one time, you thought you'd give God a try. You thought you'd give Him a chance. But the reality is, is that you never really gave Him your whole heart. And today the adjustment you need to make is just to give Him everything that you are, everything that you have. Why? What's it going to cost you to follow the Lord? Everything. It will cost you absolutely everything to follow Him. I don't cut you any slack. The price is high, but He paid a high price for you. Our Father in Heaven sent His only Son to die for you on a cross. It was costly. It was expensive. But He thought you were worth it. And what He's saying to you is, to follow Me, it's going to cost you your life. But if you'll make that adjustment, you'll start living the life that He intended for you to live when He made you inside your mother's womb. I encourage you today, 
make the adjustment, check the scoreboard of your life, and do whatever it takes to get right with God. Do whatever it takes. As I said at the beginning of this broadcast, some of you just need to make some common sense adjustments. I encourage you to do that. But for those of you that need to make the ultimate adjustment, I also encourage you to do that. Turn to God, repent of your sin, and live your life with Him. You'll never regret it as long as you live. We'll connect again next time on The Normal Christian Life Online as we do our best to awaken, inspire, and motivate you in your walk with God.